Big news, Samsung has begun shaping One UI 8, Android 16, for the Galaxy S22 lineup. Samsung has already wrapped up the second stage of its One UI 8 beta rollout and is now preparing for the third wave. Alongside this, the company is quietly testing One UI 8 behind the scenes for select models, including the Galaxy S22 series. The Korean tech giant has been focusing on One UI 8 for the S22 family for some time. A newly spotted internal build confirms that development is ongoing. The firmware has shifted from version GUI 2 to GUI 5, signaling that work is actively moving forward. Although Samsung is testing One UI 8 on the Galaxy S22 series, these devices are not listed among those eligible for the public beta. This means S22 users won't get early hands-on access. Instead, they will directly receive the stable release once it officially rolls out. Apart from the Galaxy S22, Samsung is internally running tests on several other Galaxy devices. The company is gearing up for a broader rollout in the coming months. Samsung's roadmap indicates that the Stable One UI update will begin rolling out in September 2025, starting with the Galaxy S25 series. Following that, more Galaxy phones and tablets will gradually receive the update. Certain models may also gain entry into the One UI 8 beta during September, just before the stable launch. For now, Galaxy S22 users will need to be a little more patient. The update is still on the horizon and Samsung's development is steadily progressing. Stay tuned for further updates as One UI 8 continues to take shape. Galaxy S24's One UI 8 beta in India hit full before anyone could even join, sparking confusion and outrage. Samsung's One UI 8 release is once again surrounded by drama. Just hours ago, Samsung opened beta registrations for the Galaxy S24 series Z Fold 6 and Flip 6, only to shut them down with India's slots closing before a single user could sign up. In India, the One UI 8 beta for the Galaxy S24 lineup maxed out its capacity before the program even started. Z Fold 6 and Flip 6 owners are facing the same problem, and the Samsung forum is now flooded with similar frustrations. So far, Samsung has not confirmed any technical glitch causing this sudden beta lockout. What could happen next? Samsung is likely to fix the backend error that triggered the program to reach full status without real signups. It shouldn't take long as developers are probably aware of the issue after dozens of forum reports. Better registration should be restored soon, allowing users to finally join. That's it for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.